we're moving from the outside wall coming inside to the shower wall where we're going to continue the blue river time to get the river flowing the wind is helping us out with all the wind chimes ah uh, look at those blue bottles they're just beautiful so we did four layers of bottles so we need to increase this to four as well we've got a chicken bottle that i didn't want to paint blue so you can see the chicken looks like a rooster i want to put the little thing. We're starting on the master bedroom now. Got the bathroom finished up last week, so this week we're going hot and heavy into this one. Yeah, it's really exciting. The pregnancy is going along now. We're at 33 weeks now, so we're getting close, just a couple more months. And we were really hoping to have this bedroom done because we wanted to have a really nice area to have the new baby in and stuff. So we're moving along. Yeah, we're trying to get this bedroom finished up with enough time to, you know, have to move into it, settle in a little bit before the next kid, so we're definitely cutting it close. Kind of, we got plenty but, of time though. Yeah, <laughs> it's two months here and there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He almost has to go this way. Can I put him in the middle of the river? <laughs> right in the middle of the river? Right in the middle of the river. Nice. We don't have to be conventional. He's pecking worms on a rock. It's underwater, you can't see. <laughs> <laughs> Chickens love water, you know. Yeah, they do. You know, they're always standing in water. Yeah. So, uh, you know. And maybe they mistaken it as a flamingo or something. And right. They always have one leg up. Yeah. And they sit there standing in water. It's fine. As you might remember, we were doing either bottle caps or we were doing tape over the ends of the bottles. But we've discovered we like it better without that on there because it gives a place for the mortar to really tuck inside there and hold that bottle in better. So we've gone away from doing it that way. Just have to be careful that we don't, you know, dump a bunch inside of it. Ah, oh, it's looking amazing. That's it for now. That's we'll it for go now. take a break and come back. We made it over another rock or two. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think we were, we were like right in here. We're starting to get all that. It's really starting to look really cool. Ever since we bought the house, we have been looking forward to moving into this room and it's been on the back burner because yeah, the really, living spaces. Yeah, we, I wanted we, to get the don't. living area done and Azalea's room done and like everything else first. <laughs> so it felt like we would never get around to doing this room. Yeah. So it's really nice now that we can start coming into this thing and getting some stuff done in it and kind of finishing up one of the final rooms in the house. Yeah. <laughs> We're pulling this trim off the top layer here. That way it looks a little cleaner in here. It makes the ceiling feel a little higher. This room's gonna be a lot quicker and easier than like a bathroom because you don't have the all the plumbing and tile and sinks and blah, 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 blah. That's a lot longer of a job than this one, hopefully. Trim's all off the top, so I'm gonna take down this fan now. We're gonna put a new fan up. And if you notice, there's some janky wiring right here and this actually goes to that fan uh, and then it just runs down the side of the wall here and it actually goes to that outlet and it was just plugged in and this switch over here turns on and off that outlet so I'm gonna rewire that a little differently we want to somehow get a lily pad at some point on the river and also I was gonna put a little rock area for our turtle to set on. It looks like the rock area will be okay. We can finish the bottles, but the lily pad's gonna be built into the river a little bit. Not totally correct, because you wouldn't have a lily pad on a river, but you know, that's okay. Got some green bottles. Because I'm thinking the lily pad, you know, you walk in the courtyard, it'd be cute to have a lily pad right here. So I think we'll put these in here okay. somehow. Okay. I can get more green bottles too, and I don't have to paint these because these come green, which yeah. is a plus. All right, let's go. All right, let's get these green bottles on. You get it all mixed up to the perfect consistency, and like five minutes later, it's hard. <laughs> so you gotta put a little more water in it. It's like you almost have to keep it moving. We need to put one of those trucks back here that's spinning. Ah, uh, yeah, cement mixer. Yeah, exactly. Heavy. Well, Bree will be joining us soon, I think. We hope. Either that or she's abandoned us forever. Yeah, I wouldn't blame her. <laughs> How big is my lily pad going to be? A couple feet wide, maybe a four bottles or so? Two in long ways. Like I like that. that, yeah. Be on top of the lily pad. That's okay. <laughs> okay, now I'll put the other green ones there. It's a piece of art, so you imagine what you want to see in it. Yes. 
I don't know if that one's gonna stay or not. Hey, is that Bree? Is she gonna save us? Are you gonna save us? Oh, good job, hon. We're putting up a lily pad. Ooh, that sounds fun. Froggy's gonna sit on the lily pad. Aww. Right on. Ooh, it looks beautiful. Good job, hon. Are you getting us more water, Eugene? Eugene's got us for us. He's getting us more water. Oh, good. No. Oh, he decided he's no longer wanting the water. He decided he'll help via a tool. Eugene has thought that he has helped enough. Did you help enough, Eugene? This is the weirdest fan, how it's so tiny like this. It has like, what is it, six blades? Yeah. Maybe we should put it up in place of the fan in the shop there. Or that really noisy oh, one. Yeah. I forgot we can pull it. This is where we want the light, right? Because we can move it. Actually, it might not be a bad idea because I'll bet I can get to stuff easier through this vent, but it would be to move it to like here. Yeah, if we were gonna put our bed underneath this window. And that way too, if we did put our bed here, it wouldn't look funny. Yeah. There. We might move the lighting a little better too, you know? You ready for this impossible task? I'm really hoping that I can get this to feed. Oh, I hear it right there. Is it moving? I don't hear it anymore. Are you trying another plant? And I'm gonna sneak it through the trim. It seems to be working. I wonder where we're at. I'm pretty close. All right, I had to pull this out because I realized that even if I were to get it all the way through, I would have had to push through like 12 feet. Now that you got it all opened up, starting from the other side. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Okay, so now it actually will fit underneath this one here, but probably gonna need your help to kind of guide it through. Okay. <gasps> oh, <laughs> scared me. <laughs> Okay. So do you want to go up now? So go back into it and pop out in the... Back into this one? Yeah. Okay. okay. How much do you want? That should be right there. It's not perfect. Look at that trash, but it's better than just, you know, stapling it onto the ceiling. Oh yeah, it doesn't look bad. Nothing a little paint can't fix. Very good. Now, let's determine how much water we need. Nice. Right through the window. Oh, <laughs> this stuff is like so brutal. I guess that's what 50 years will do to you. Thank you, bro. Yep. A new ceiling will happen eventually. Are you coming in here to help? What you need, Dad? All right, what's happening, boys? Oh, look at that. Got ourselves another chicken. <laughs> yes, Bryson found another chicken. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a funky looking bottle. Isn't it? Yeah, I thought that was cute. It's nice to have Brie here now because then she can work the one side and I can work this. It's nice when I can be on one side and Brie can be on the other side of that shower wall doing those bottles because we can both be working, smoothing out the mortar lines, making them look nice instead of having to go back and forth over the wall. Are you guys can to take turns? You guys each work a side? Well, if we do that, then we can, you know, check the mortar lines out and that kind of stuff. Flowing. Mm. So as the wall climbs, it's going to be nice to have, have us on each Lots side. Lots of economy of steps there, so that works out good. Right. Yeah. Let's look and see how our lily pad is coming. Boy, that looks like a lily pad. <laughs> Gonna have to get some more green bottles. It's the start. Break time. Let's go, man. Bryson's not aware we're going on break, and he's over here scraping bottles. Hold on. Well, Garen's finishing up on the electrical. I'm trying to get the ceiling ready because we're going to give it a coat of paint. It's nasty. You can't tell, but it's, it's actually kind of brown. We gotta take this piece of trim off. So we're going to put something new up there. Oh, this is just like pushed up in there. I don't think we really even need a piece of trim over that. <laughs> oh, I think it's fine just like that. Woo! Ah! Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. 
sorry. You almost got dead. That's where the new fan will go. So it wired up correctly now, so the wire goes back down, pull power from that outlet there and get switched from there. Instead of now being a switching outlet, it's just a regular outlet that's always on. But I think now we're ready to button back up this wall and then I guess we'll get to painting the ceiling, huh? Yeah. Another batteroonie, quite the splash. A blue bottle! It's so pretty. <laughs> I love that these bottles are not only different shapes and sizes, but there are different angles too. True. It makes it so fun. Like we got this fun shape in there at a fun angle. This whole wall is just super fun. You could do this as like a pony wall. You know, maybe you wanted to surround a garden or something. Oh, this would just yes. work so well. Probably one more green bottle on the yeah, top and then yeah. we'll set the frog. Paint a frog, but attach to the wall, I'm not sure how we'll do that. But when you have your gloves on, you don't really use the tool for in between. You just end up using your fingers. Yeah, the shapes are not like brick or a block where it's a designated size and shape and whatever. This stuff's so organic, I don't think a tool works. You have to get your finger in kind of weird positions to get the mortar up there. Dude, you can't get out of the, get out of the shop. Oh. You got the ceiling prep for painting. Get this mixed up and put some on there. Yeah. So nice to go to paint when you don't have to worry about getting it on the floor. <laughs> Just slop around anything we want. Oh, yeah. We even have window shield. <laughs> oh yeah, because we're not keeping these. Perfect. Perfect. And we did decide to leave that light up because it's the only light in here. So we'll take it down later when we have the next light fixture. Looks good. Whoa, you said we could saw up there, right? <laughs> Yeah. Wow, that's so much wider. It's a little subtle difference. Hard to kind of see on camera, but it definitely is gonna clean this room up a little bit. Yeah, and then once we paint the walls, oh my gosh, it's gonna look so nice. Yeah. Should I just wait to paint back there? Yeah. Sure, let's just do that um, once we get that light flip. Okay, so you've done the first, first two, two, and I'm about to do the next two. Not if I get to them first. <laughs> oh, yeah? No, I'm just kidding. I'm starting on the next two after the first two. Kind of fun to paint the ceilings. Yeah. It refreshes the room nicely. That's what you notice in the back, you know? Yeah. So I get paint on my eyelid. You kind of like a nice speckly. Oh, I drip and I blinked. Just when it dripped and it caught on my eyelid, I think I got it Good timing. My quick blinking reflexes. It's actually going pretty fast. Mm -hmm. I Yeah. wonder what color we need to see if we decide to paint it Gray. Yeah, I think there might be just enough paint in here to do that. Cool. I think there's actually going to be plenty to do this whole thing and get the, get the touch up we need too. Yeah, we might be good. Nice covering white with white. It's like one coat and you're done. Yeah. You know what the best thing about the Snapple bottles are? S's. <laughs> Get to make my mark. Just, just use like, your finger just like that, huh? Yeah, there's the mortar line. It's beautiful. I am turning the S to the outside. The beautiful S. One, yes. One of mom's good friends calls the backyard here Shellville. <laughs> and I feel like that little S is mom's little icon for Shellville. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Can we steal Snapples? <laughs> it's not Snapple anymore, it's Shellville. Oh, okay. <laughs> have again the Shellville logo with little leaves around it. Some kind of little bit of a Shellville logo there. Shellville here. Another beautiful big Atlas Mason, which obviously is part of Shellville. That would have been nice to have that down, but don't worry about it. Have I what down? The label. <laughs> it's okay. Face it straight out, Bree. Oh, I was so focused on getting it, it up there. I remember. I, I, was, I was so worried about getting up there. I, I heard Notice. You can clearly see we put these in with fingers. If you haven't noticed by now, you can see the pattern. Blue, then we have clear, and then we have blue. 
They like parting in there so fast, don't they? So you don't think the mortar would stick very well to the glass, you know? Because the glass is so glossy, you just expect it not to stick. It does adhere really well, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. And you throw mortar on it like that. We're looking forward to continuing progress on this next week. ceiling painted. Yeah, it's pretty much just prepped now. We just gotta stucco and paint the walls and move on to the floor and I don't know, we're moving along quick in here, huh? Yeah, we're going pretty good. I mean, just getting that pile of garbage out of here was so nice. <laughs> that was so annoying. Mm -hmm. Chaotic in here. Yeah. Cool. Are you looking at yourself? That's Azalea. That's you. <laughs> high vibes. You <laughs> should have high five. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, that wraps up this week. The t-shirt design of the week is having a splash. If you'd like to get this on a t-shirt, sweatshirt, handbag, apron, or our numerous other products that we offer over in shop, as well as other designs that we've done in previous weeks, the link will be down in the description. If you missed it, on Wednesday, Bryson posted a little video winterizing his aquaponic system by insulating the pipe there. The link to that will be down in the description as well. We really appreciate you being a part of our family, and we look forward to hanging out with you on Monday for that podcast. Bye. family moved from the city to the country. Thanks for taking part in our adventure. We have new videos every Friday evening. If you would like to help us out, you can like this video, share it, subscribe, or support us on Patreon. See the links in the description. You really can see through that bottle too. Fine. I just want to hang in there.